Welcome to the Chemistry Lab. Today we will show you how to prepare your burette for a titration. My name is Brian Reese Juarez and I'm a biochem major from the class of 2018. We will outline the procedure from obtaining your burette to washing and measuring the initial volume inside it. We hope that this tutorial will help you out in lab. Now, sit back, relax, and let's get started. A burette is a laboratory apparatus that is used to quantitatively measure the volume of a liquid or a gas. The burette consists of a long graduated glass tube that dispenses liquid. The amount of liquid that is dispensed from it is controlled by a stopcock, which is located at the bottom of the burette. Burettes are typically used in titration experiments. This is where a solution with a known concentration is used to determine the concentration of another compound. In order to properly use a burette, proper rinsing and washing must be done in order to ensure there are no molecules or particles that could potentially interfere with what is being measured. Washing is essential. Never assume your glassware is clean. To do so, rinse your burette out one to two times with distilled water. This will cause any particles on the burette to go into solution and will be washed away. Once you have filled the burette, turn the stopcock once and allow some of the water to run through the dispensing tip. This allows any air bubbles that are trapped to be dispelled. Once you have done this, turn the stopcock to the closed position and drain the rest of the water from the top of the burette into the sink or a beaker. Once you have finished rinsing it with DI water, rinse out your burette once with your titrant and repeat the same procedure as with water. Let's now coat the inside of the burette with the titrant. Make sure the stopcock is in the closed position with the stopcock perpendicular to the glassware. Pour about 5 milliliters of titrant using a long stem glass funnel into the burette and hold the burette on its side. You do not need to fill your burette to the top just yet. Using your hands, rotate the glassware providing maximum coverage for the titrant to coat the inside surface of the glassware. In this case, the titrant being used is sodium hydroxide. The last step of washing is essential if you need to be very precise when calculating the concentration of the titrant. Now, dispense the last washing into a waste beaker. Once you are finished with washing, you are now ready to set up your burette. Using a long stem glass funnel and sliding the burette under eye level, carefully pour your titrant into the burette to the desired volume. If you cannot get the burette to eye level before filling it, you may remove it from the clamp and hold the burette to eye level instead. When doing this, make sure you are very cautious about spilling any titrant on yourself or others. When reading the initial volume of the burette, make sure you take the reading at the bottom of the meniscus. For opaque liquids like potassium permanganate, Use a flashlight to get a better view of the meniscus. If you have overfilled your burette past the graduations, you may turn your stopcock just a little bit to dispel some liquid. Upon reading the initial burette volume, adjust the burette height so that there is ample room underneath the burette to place an Erlenmeyer flask with a stir pad underneath it. You may have to adjust the height again to avoid any splashing when dispensing the titrant. Your burette is now ready for your experiment. Thank you for listening and I hope that this video will strengthen your burette preparation skills. Now I'm missing you and I'm wishing you would come back through my door. Ooh, why did you have to go?